Good morning, my beautiful divas. Welcome to today's video. I'm doing another get ready with me video and I'm kind of getting used to this new routine that I'm trying to do and today it went really well. I just wanted to share with you all what palette I use today. Um, I use this one from BH Cosmetics and it's called 90s Remix Dance. I've been having this palette there for a while. I kind of use like one of two uh, shades in the top before, but I never use any of the colorful ones. And today performed amazing. So keep on watching to see how I created this look really quick today as a regular day of the week routine. And I hope you guys like and enjoy it, my divas. First thing in my routine is the uh, Estee Lauder uh, serum that I've been using for years is the Illuminist Idealist Pore Minimizer Skin Refinisher Serum. I've been using this for years. It's amazing. It's just um, so smooth and it works so well. Pore Minimizer makes your skin feel like silk. And I even go ahead and use it under the eyes, whatever is left under, whatever is left in my hands. I use it under my eyes just a little bit. And mainly I use it in my T-zone like that right here. And that's it. I kind of let the skin soak it up a little bit, which is amazing before I go into my second step which is the Estee Lauder uh, Day Wear. This is um, Spectrum SPF 15. This is the Cucumber Moisturizer. I've been using this one for many years and it really works with my skin because I have dry skin, but this one doesn't make your skin oily. It just makes you, it gives you the right amount of um you know, moisturizing that you need throughout the day without making it oily. And of course, it performs amazing with, first of all, Estee Lauder um, foundation, but you know what? It works amazingly with any foundation. I've been using it through the years and it just works really, really good with any, any foundation any foundation and I usually like to apply this with my fingers I mean with my bare hands um and then what I use I end up using an eye cream usually I like to use one from Estee Lauder but right now I don't have it so I'm using this one by Vital Beauty it's a brightening eye cream with vitamin C and caffeine and it has no um, perfumes, no other, you know, alcohol or anything like that. So I use a tiny bit of this under each eye to awaken the eye. Of course, I have my under eye bags that I hate, but we have to hydrate them. And this is the best thing we can do. We use this finger and we hydrate all the eye area and whatever ex access i mean whatever excess we have we go into the upper eye area i mean that's just how i do it today i'm gonna go in with my juvia's place i am magic foundation i have been using this one for a couple of weeks already and i've been loving it and um, I mean, I never used Juvia's Place before. And let me tell you, a little bit goes a long way. I don't have to use that much. I've been loving it. And this is like an everyday kind of foundation for me. And what I like to do is, first I go into my blending, my foundation brush and then I kind of finish it in with my my sponge to kind of make it even I feel like in the mornings this is way easier for me if 
first time guys i'm recording a get ready with me like from scratch hope you guys like it my routine in the morning when i do my makeup because i don't do my makeup every single day i'm not gonna lie to you guys there are days that i don't feel like doing nothing i'm very lazy and i don't want to do this but you know today's one of those days that i do want to do it so i'm doing it i feel great i mean i didn't even need the sponge right now that blends so well I'll go over with it after I do the concealer. I'm using uh, Jeffree Star uh, Magic Concealer. I think it's magic. I don't even know the name. Gonna use a little bit of this. Ooh. Where did it go? A little bit of this. It has great coverage as well. And then with this, I am using the sponge. I think it has really great coverage. And I love the doe foot on this one. It's really, really good. Let's go in with the sponge. Of course, I have it um, damped a little bit. I think it works and perform a lot better with any foundation or concealer. See how easy that blended? So good. That was really, really good. Next, let's go into with, uh, let's go. Next, let's go with the Juvia's Place um, powder. This one, it's a really good combination with the foundation of course and what i'm gonna do is also go with the same sponge and use a little bit and that's how i set my eyes really quick and really effective it works really good with the same sponge and that works amazing Then the rest of the face, I'm going to do it with the... I like to set the rest of my face with a brush, my powder brush. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I like to set it first. And then I'll do whatever with a bronzer and all that kind of stuff. But first, I like to set it with the face powder all over. Because I think the the foundation will look a lot better. And also, um, this makeup is going to last through the day. I mean, now I don't work so many hours like before. But, um, like before I used to do my makeup at this time of morning. And it would last the whole day. without any problems. I think that's good. Next, we're gonna go into contour and I'm going a little bit fast because in the mornings, this is just how I do it. I do it fast. I'm gonna go into my color pop coconut um talk to the palm uh bronzer and i think this one is really good for like an everyday i feel like it's very very natural and you don't have to really worry about oh i did this wrong no i think it works and performs amazing for these areas that you know it looks really really natural i like to add a little bit here also a little bit here and this is like a super fast contour next i'm gonna do my eyebrows and what i use is just a wet n wild or whatever i um eyebrow pencil i have and i think this one works really good 
And what I like to do, I just go and make a line like that and start filling it up a little bit like that. I don't use, I don't do so much in the eyebrows, but this is basically it, what I do. Fill it out a little bit and that's it. Like that. Then I go with the one that is a little bit lighter and kind of like make it a little bit more perfect. And before I finish, what I like to do, I go a little bit like this with any brow brush and that's it. I feel that's I went ahead and did my hair because I needed to do that and I like to do it after I do my contour. I don't know why because the brush messes my hair. I'm like that. <laughs> next, I'm, next, I'm gonna go with my color pop Fresh and Peachy and I'm gonna do my blush. This one is like a very subtle um, blush and I like it because it's more like an everyday kind of um, blush and it looks really, really cute. And it gives you that little glow that you need. And I feel that that's, that's looking good. Let me see. Because I'm using the same blush mirror. Yeah, this is cute. Just a little bit more to make it peachy. Pretty cute. I think that's good. That's pretty good. I already primed my eyes and I'm gonna go in for the eyeshadow, which is my favorite part. And today we're using 90s Remix Dance by BH Cosmetics. And I think this is gonna perform amazing today. Okay. We're gonna start by Wannabe. It's gonna be this beautiful, very chocolatey, um shade and i think that's gonna be good for starting us a transitioning shade here i mean today i just want to keep it between two tones green and brown oh my god i digged into the wrong one it's okay it's okay because that's the next shade but <laughs> I'm still kind of sleep. Okay, that was a darker chocolate. But first, let's do this light chocolate here. Let's do this first. The transitioning shade first. And then the darkest one. Next. Okay, so this is pretty. It has a little bit of kickback in the pan, but nothing major. And as long as it's in the pan and not in my eyes, it's fine. Okay, so that was good. Next, what I'm going to do is go into the one that I hit accidentally, which is No Scrubs, the darker um, brown here. And with the same brush, just kind of dipping out a little bit here in the crease. Just in the crease area right there. Mm -hmm. Let's do the same thing here. Oh, those are looking pretty together. I mean, those mats are performing super good. Blending super easy. Let's do a little bit more here. Next shade I'm going to be using is going to be this one right here i'm blue and i'm gonna throw it in the outer v let's see how this perform i went ahead and use and with the brush as well um that's a lot let's go into the outer v like this okay we have a little bit of fallout but that's because i use 
I always use too much product in the brush. And even though this is kind of like a, well, it's not kind, it is a, um, this is kind of like a shimmer. Okay, I don't really mind because, you know what, who cares? I like it. And I'm going to use it. I'm going to use whatever I want to use. That was cute. And then, you know what? I think like I should just use it a little bit more closer to the middle, like right here. Yeah, that's looking pretty. And then I'm going to use another lighter color in the rest of the lid. So I'm going to use it like up to here. Next, I'm going to go into La Vida Loca, which is this beautiful bright green. And I'm going to use it, of course, all over the front lid. Let's see how this performs. Oh, that's pretty. That is a rich, beautiful green lime. Or lime green. Look how pretty that looks. That looks super cute. I'm gonna go into Supermodel, this one right here, and I'm gonna throw it in the inner corner. I'm gonna wet the brush as well. And a little bit of this beautiful shade, just right there in the inner corner. Really cute, really easy. Really cute and really easy because, you know, I'm not trying to go all out this morning. I think this is pretty cute and pretty colorful already. And I'm going to use be... my Jordana Easy Liner, this dark blue, and I'm going to throw it in the waterline because I haven't done this in a while and I think it's going to look good. So, yeah, it is looking good. Oh, yes, the waterline in blue. Oh, really nice. All right, my diva. So this is the finished look. As you may see, I went ahead and added a little bit of a mascara and lipstick. I think this lipstick completes the look. I love this chocolate color. It's super cute, of course, from Juvia's Place. It is called Coco and look how gorgeous Look how gorgeous and creamy it is. This beautiful lipstick, I love it. Overall, I didn't think my eyeshadow palette was gonna perform this good, honestly. I didn't think it was gonna be that good and that easy to blend. I mean, I looked at it like a, you know, not very good quality kind of palette, but it actually did super, super good. I'm super happy with it. I love the greens that I combined and this looks really fresh and good for the day. I love my look today, my divas. If you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe, like, share, you know, comment, all the good stuff down below. I will see you, my divas, in my next video and I love you all very much. Mwah.